Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for the rolling pan project. And I am doing this with Jessica and with Joy. So they will be linked down below if you don't already follow them. They are fantastic ladies and they do project pans and I'm in a bunch of collabs with them at the moment besides this one. So I hope you will check them out. If it is very noisy it is because the road is right there and it has rained a lot so it is more loud than usual so i'm sorry about that so this product is basically where you choose four products that you want to hit pan on so they are only products in pans you know or it can be from eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that it can't be a lipstick or a lip gloss or something because it doesn't have a pan um so that is basically what we do. So when we hit pan on a certain item we have chosen, we roll another product in and roll the pan product out of the product. So you get use out of your collection. So I love this idea and I love this product. I have hit pan on three items so I'm going to show you those and the three items I am replacing them with. So yeah. So let's just get started. Okay, let's take the boring one first because I have the neutral Lux bronzer that I use as a contour. I have been using this a lot. I have been using it as an eyeshadow and a contour, but I can see some of the print being wear down, but not much. And it's kind of frustrating, but I'm so pale right now that this is very dark if I use a lot of it. So that is why there's no pen yet. I'm very happy to be working on it. I do have it in my subscription box splits because I did get this in a subscription box but that is basically I'm running out of items in that project so yeah. I have it in here also last time there was gold around the edges but that was just an overspray I removed because I just couldn't put my brush in correctly so yeah. I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light. And I was focusing on the brow powder. This was almost brand new when I put this in. Yeah, I have been focusing in one spot, but I did hit pan. And I have used the wax a lot also. But my wax is very dry. I think it is almost drying out. Um, I have been using it and there is a dip in that one. Um, I'm not going to put that one in maybe later on. But I am going to be using this powder for my eyebrows the rest of the year, I think. Um, it won't be done this year, but I need to work on it because this is my oldest brow product in my collection right now. Then I have my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And I just hit pan the other day and I'm very excited about this. Again, I use it every single day for my under eyes to set that to set my concealer and I love this powder so much this is my second powder this year of this one I will take a break now and use some of my other powders for my under eyes and then I had a shadow from a W7 in the city natural nudes palette yesterday when I picked out my products for this update I didn't have pan on this eyeshadow but this morning I hit pan on it <laughs> and then I had to choose another product and I was like, what should I choose? <laughs> I could have chosen the wax, but I didn't think about that. I have chosen this shade right here. It is a pale orange shade that I love to use in my crease. This is a palette I'm using with my Panda palette this year. So I'm kind of panning it this year, but not really. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about this one. So yeah is also rolling out of this product. Then I had to add in three new products and the first one is my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and this is the Dolce de Lique. Lique? I don't do Spanish. It looks like this. It has a highlight shade and a contour shade. I'm going to focus on the highlight shade because I really like that for under my eyes. So Instead of this one for my under eyes, I'm using this one. Yeah. So it looks like this right now. It has a small dip, so I'm pretty sure it won't be long until I hit pan. I don't think the pans are that deep. 
So this shadow is in my C pad right now that I am panning for the year 2017. I don't have that much progress so that aren't no spoilers but anyway this is the shadow I have chosen. It is a darker grey silver shadow. I will try to use and hit pan on because that is my goal for my panda palette by the way to hit pan on shades so this will help a lot to hit pan on this one. And the last item is from my Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow Highlighting Palette. I'm panning this one right now in my Harry Potter project, but I am putting in this one right here. This I love as an eyeshadow at the moment to highlight my inner corner and up to my half of my lid. I love that and I have used that <laughs> in almost two weeks straight as my pop of color or highlighting shade, shimmer shade on my lid. So I don't think that would be very hard to pen. That is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I really look forward to play with my new products. And if you haven't already, check out the ladies down below. There will be links to the channels. If you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to get notified when I upload. Follow my social media here on the screen. And then I hope you are doing well. Until my next video. Bye guys.